So in each of these examples, we need to make sure that the denominator is not zero. So to determine our domain, one thing we want to do is find out where the denominator is zero. So we can set the denominator to zero. So x plus two equals zero. Or maybe we should say x plus two does not equal zero. So x cannot equal negative two. That would be one way we could write our domain. In interval notation, we would have negative infinity to negative two, negative two to infinity, and we'll union those guys together with a u. And there's our domain for f. g is going to be really similar. We can see that x cannot equal one or three. So in doing our domain, we're just going to have three places. So our domain will be negative infinity up to one, and notice we're giving it parentheses because we do not want to include one. One to three, and three to infinity. For h, notice that x cannot equal two, so our domain is just going to be negative infinity to two, unioned with two to infinity. And for our last one, we got to be a little careful. You know, x cannot be two, but x can also not be negative two because of the square. So for our domain, we have negative infinity to negative two, negative two to two, and finally two to infinity. And so those are the domains for those four rational functions.